The first pools were built by the ancient Greeks and Romans in the 19th century. Large cities like London started building indoor pools for sports and recreation. Backyard residential pools became popular in the 1950s. Today, residential in-ground pools are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. Their parts are made to order in the factory. The first step is to design the pool according to the client's specifications. Computer software then determines exactly which components must be built. The side panels of the pool are made with galvanized steel plated with zinc to prevent rusting. They die cut V-shaped notches on the top and will cut similar ones on the bottom later. These little dimples in the metal will hide the heads of bolts. They punch out holes on the remaining ends of the panel. These will serve to join multiple panels to create the perimeter of the pool. They insert each panel in a powerful metal folder. It firmly clamps the sheet of metal and pushes up the edge to create a 90 degree angle. Taking a flat metal sheet and turning it into a three-dimensional object makes it stronger. They fold the notches at the top and bottom ends of the panel. They also die cut a large hole for the clean water inlet. To make a curved panel, they place it on a fixed radius jig. They insert a metal profile called a stiffener and bolt it in place. They use a custom flat head bolt and nut that will lodge themselves in the metal dimples. Next, an automated clamp bends the panel to fit the jig's curve. The V-shaped notches allow the panel to bend easily, but workers must install radius belts to maintain this shape. They fasten the radius belts permanently using hydraulic rivet guns. All in-ground pool panels are made to order and shipped as soon as they are ready. In the thermoforming department, they use a thick sheet of ABS plastic to make the in-ground pool steps. The sheet is firmly clamped in a frame and goes into an oven. The oven heats the plastic to around 350 degrees for five minutes until it gets soft and pliable. As the plastic comes out of the oven, a fiberglass mold is pushed up, forming the main shape of the steps. A rigid cage seals the sides, and a powerful vacuum sucks out the air, forcing the plastic against the mold. A series of fans cool down the plastic. When it has hardened enough, it's removed from the mold. They prepare the vinyl liner for the inside of the pool. There are about 30 designs to choose from. Workers unroll the vinyl on a cutting table, where a conveyor will keep pulling on it. A computer-controlled rotary knife zips over the moving vinyl. Cutting effortlessly to create all the required sections. The cutting process generates little waste and the materials are fully recyclable. Workers carefully fold each section of the liner. All sections will be assembled in another department according to the assembly plan. On site, they assemble the steps, the side panels, and the piping for the filter and heater. They pour concrete around the pool to form a foundation. Then they pour some inside the pool to create the bottom. They smooth the surface and let the concrete set for two days. A worker unfolds the vinyl liner. It has a semi-rigid PVC edge that hooks into the top of the pool. They fill the space around the pool with gravel and pour a concrete sidewalk on top. All that's left to do is add paving stones or a deck, some plants and furniture, and you'll have your own personal paradise.